Hi, this is Mark the Mazel again. Um, I totally forgot uh, actually to start um, with the beginning, which is uh, why um, should Bitcoins be implemented in the permanent portfolio? Um, uh, why? I mean, is it really necessary? Is it necessary? Uh, and my opinion is yes. Um, the permanent portfolio is no longer safe without Bitcoin because uh, Bitcoin has the potential, doesn't mean it will happen, but has the potential, it can happen, that Bitcoin becomes the, the mainstream currency over the next 10, 20, 30 years. And uh, if that happens, then a lot of Bitcoin will become very valuable. But that value will come at the expense of other assets. And uh, so the value appearing in Bitcoin um, will um, disappear in uh, the things that people don't use anymore. Uh, now that they use Bitcoin, and that is probably mostly fiat currencies. Uh, today, most people pay with um, uh, fiat currencies, US dollars, euros, etc. And um, that gives them value. Huh? Uh, if they um, over in the future sell fiat currencies in, in exchange for bitcoins then they are um, and if more people want bitcoins and less people want fiat currency that will lower the value of fiat currency and raise the value of bitcoins and um, in extremity uh, it can happen that um, um, that um, I'm sorry, I was distracted. That uh, that actually um, one that fiat currency collapses eh? one a, once a tipping point is reached, um, you could get an acceleration. Eh? Um, so 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 um, that doesn't have to happen, but it can happen. Eh? Um, also, uh, Bitcoin will be, the, uh, will be at the expense of, um, I think, I think it can be that it will also be at the expense of gold, because gold is today um, used um, mostly as a long-term store of value. Huh? and as an asset to protect yourself against inflation and deflation. Um, but um, Bitcoin uh, is also an excellent um, asset as a long-term store of value, uh, also a perfect protection against inflation in the fiat currencies and deflation uh, in the fiat currencies. And um, uh, just like gold is today, Bitcoin is that too. Huh? And uh, so it is possible that uh, gold uh, loses a lot of its value if Bitcoin becomes a mainstream currency. Huh? Um, and uh, it's also possible that even stocks and bonds lose a lot of value if Bitcoin becomes a main currency mainstream currency because uh, as I explained in a, in a previous video um, the, the, the need to invest money if Bitcoin becomes a mainstream currency will likely go down dramatically eh? because once you have sound money people don't need to invest anymore in stocks and bonds uh, to preserve their purchasing power and so they probably won't do that huh, to the extent that they are doing today, which will, which can 
if that happens, it will drain a lot of value from the stock market that will just move to Bitcoin. Eh? And the same is true for bonds. So, um, so, so not having Bitcoin in a permanent portfolio, in my opinion, is out of question. Eh? Um, today, Bitcoin is so small, it's only a market cap of 1 billion. Um, which is nothing compared to all the other, uh, all these other big, very big assets. Um, but um, things can go fast. Eh? Uh, we are living today in a different world. Uh, we are living in the internet age, where communication has gone up. In the speed of communication has gone up, eh? and this video is another um, uh, proof of that. Eh? Uh, and um, um, yeah, the way it has gone the past four years since Bitcoin launched is that it has tenfolded in value almost every year. Huh? So on average, it has gone up by 900 percent per year. So um, it has been an exponential rise, um, and um, uh, that is something we can't really grasp. Uh, uh, it's just exponential rises go much faster than we, than we, well, it goes very fast and so in 10 years the world can look very different and if you refuse to have Bitcoin in your permanent portfolio, it could certainly be possible that in 10 years uh, the market cap of Bitcoin has grown from 1 billion to 1000 billion huh? and um, that will be at the expense of the other, of fiat currencies, uh, of gold, uh, and maybe also of stocks and bonds. Although it will be a small influence because the market caps of the other assets are so large, eh? it's not 1000 billion for gold, it's uh, 8000 billion for gold. Uh, for fiat currencies, it's not 1000 billion, it is. Um, 15,000 billion uh, and uh, stock market, bond market is uh, around 5,200 billion, uh, sorry, uh, 50,000 to 100,000 billion. Uh, so basically 1 trillion, if Bitcoin becomes 1 trillion, gold will still be 10 trillion, um, fiat currencies will still be 15 trillion, bonds and stock markets will be, still be 50 to 100 trillion. So the amount of capital will still be, I, the permanent portfolio will not have lost a lot of value, even if Bitcoin thousand folds. So you can still wait to implement it, but um, if it, the, the, the years after that, it's certainly possible that Bitcoin goes from 1 trillion to 10 trillion. Huh? Um, that's a tenfolding, huh? and that probably will not happen in one year then, huh? uh, but it could happen in five years. Huh? Uh, and um, at that point, then it will really, then it will have sucked a lot of value from the other assets. Huh? So, um, if Bitcoin succeeds as a mainstream currency and becomes a mainstream currency, then the permanent portfolio will suffer uh, tremendously eh? and you will lose a lot of value there. Eh? So that's why I believe um, that uh, implementing Bitcoin is in the permanent portfolio is very important. Thanks for watching.